All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well... I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad. Because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. 
I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. So New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh... Hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. So you're a physician now. Last summer I performed a one-woman Doctor Who homage entitled Weeping Angel. Wait, what? The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. His name was Bongo. It was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh my god, of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year? <laughs> Definitely. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. You told one truth and two lies. Maybe I just needed to test you. Or maybe you have trust issues. 
You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, want to listen? Small to this. 